YouTube, what is up? We are currently in Fort Worth, Texas. There's Cody back there. It's actually Cody's last day with us on tour. She's headed back home, but what's up guys? Haven't talked to the vlog in a few days. You guys been all right? We've been all right. This is really, I'm just gonna hold it like this. Currently we're staying at like this pretty big house. It's owned by this guy named Michael. He's a super nice guy, blessed us and just allowed us to be in his home. We actually had a worship night here a few days back. And then we had a worship night in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas at this church called Covenant, I believe. Um, but everything's been good. We're actually about to hit the road back again. So I'm excited for that. And as we're going to be hanging with Andrew again from Ecclesia. So I know you guys probably seen Andrew in the vlog and you guys, a lot of you guys probably know his music, but we're gonna be meeting up with, up with him again. And uh, I think we're probably gonna start heading out. So let me get packed up and back in the van. Your last time on the vlog for a while. Oh no! Hey Cody. What am I gonna do? Alrighty, Cody. How you been? How's life? Tell us about um. Yeah, just tell us. <laughs> tell us about life has been really, 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 really good. You're going back to Kansas. What's what's going on with that? What's the Lord doing with that? Yeah. How are you, Cody? Yeah. He is, I'm going back to Kansas to get to be with my family and I'm super duper 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 pumped. There's like 10, 15 other things I'm going to be doing but the biggest thing I get to be with my family so I'm excited. I want to tell all you people that watch this out there that you're deeply, deeply, deeply loved. Mm. And don't just hear that lightly but actually think about it and like perceive it. Yeah. So right now we're headed to uh, the Art of Homage. We actually went there yesterday with Jasmine Tate, but Art of Homage is like a Christian clothing brand that Patrick found a while ago. And um, we're actually gonna bring him some clothes because he like found out about uh, Lord Shout and then he found out about my music. And uh, he's a really cool dude and he's super inspirational. Like they pretty much started the same way that um, I did and we did with Lord Shout and just like, it's just inspirational to see Christians um, actually showing that it's possible to be a creative and do it full time in a sense because you know there's not many out there so it's super good super good for the culture but we're about to meet uh, Patrick do you remember his name? Um, it is Tim. About to meet Tim from Art of Homage. We're planning to do a cover guitar I think I don't know. I'm not really sure. Usually Patrick's like, hey, we need to do this thing in two months. And then I'm like, cool. And then two months comes and he's like, you're doing that thing today. And I'm like, what? And that's our relationship. Do this thing? Stop button to the mic. Does he have one? Come on, our stuff, bro. Oh dang. I'm here at the Art of Homage store. Let me just show you guys around a bit. So, to me, this is inspiring because I'm a creative and just to see someone have their own store is like mind blowing to me. This is something that I dream of having one day. But they have this rack, cool clothes. This is beautiful as well. Oh, I'm vlogging a little bit, just a little, little bit of vlogging. <laughs> And then this room, it's probably my favorite room. This just, this light, the couches, the old gaming aesthetic. Yeah. It, it looks amazing. Um, but I'm inspired. And I want you guys to meet Tim. I gotta jump on this Oh, man. you gotta jump on this man? I gotta yeah, jump yeah. on this Please, line. please, please. Next year, I won't Next be able year. to get in touch with this dude. Uh, he gonna be stop. so... 
man. This is hot, man. I'll rock with you heavy, bro. This is Tim. This is the mastermind right here. Yeah. Man, this guy is amazing. He's a artist and producer uh -oh. as well. Uh -oh. As well. <laughs> but he owns a clothing line called Art of Homage. He's been killing it. Over 100K yeah. followers. And man, what, what would you give one tip to someone that's like trying to start doing this? You Just can, one tip. You control your effort. You control. Oh. God provides the growth. You control your effort. So work hard. You didn't say that. Work you hard. you gonna say that to them like that? Yeah. Come yeah. on, that, they don't want to hear that yeah. one. They don't want to hear that one. Yeah. They, they think they'd be like, nah, God's gonna do it all. Hey, you control your effort. I like that. I like that. Say. Okay. Oh, we're trying to combine this basically what we do with the apparel and. So, just finished up uh, recording with the Art of Homage guys. Got some stuff coming with them soon. Be on the lookout. Uh, where you at? I think we're about to head out pretty soon though, but it was super dope hanging with these brothers and gaining some knowledge from them. About to be on our way though. You wanna say what's up to the vlog, man? <laughs> Yo, what's happening? Listen, man. <laughs> Boys came through, shut the whole thing oh, down. Stop man. it, man. So, stop it, man. You know, I do a little bit behind the camera, <laughs> but you made it look yeah. like I know what I'm doing. You no, know what I'm saying? Man. So, you know, I'm just a criminal justice major trying to make it with a camera in my hand, but he you killed, killed it. it, though. You he killed, killed it. it, man. So, <laughs> hey, support these guys. Love these yeah, guys, man. man. So, hey, but where can we find your stuff at, though? Man, so uh, <laughs> your story, my design. Yeah. That's where you see all of the content and different things with the Art of Armors brand. So, yes. uh, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff I do all of that so mm -hmm. uh, it's your story my design your on Instagram design. so but Man. if you look at the Art of Armors page yeah. all of the content the photos videos <laughs> I get out there and tell the story with the camera baby my so, god yes, bro. Uh, thank you so much bro wisdom get some wisdom come on, wisdom. Come on guys. Get, get wisdom. Wisdom. Oh, he gave me some wisdom, oh, okay. oh, some wisdom. but I need an outro though I need an outro I'm gonna give you an outro okay? give me some something, something listen man chase God ooh Real wealth is measured by your relationship with Jesus and not by your achievements mm. or things that you own or possess or how many people follow you. But mm. real success should be measured by your daily relationship with God. Get Come to know him man. while with him. Every day is a new day to get closer. Chase yeah. it, chase it. Amen, brother. Uh. So, YouTube, what is good? Um, currently in hotel with hotel rooms like right there. So I'm trying to be a little bit quiet, but hopefully you guys can Bear with me. Um, let me move. I moved to the steps because I feel like that would be less annoying to the people that are trying to sleep. But um, this part of the video, I kind of want to talk about something that I've just been feeling lately and just been trying to learn to navigate and, and build around, which is like knowing how many people I can actually help and like you know if you're in a place and i know a lot of people that are leaders or just people that have a lot of friends that look up to them or just anyone really um, it can feel like this pressure to feel like you need to help everyone and you have to talk to everyone in the world and like you're not a great christian if you don't like help out all your friends and all like the people that are leading or that you're leading and i just think that's so not true um i think many scriptures like and I was just thinking about this because I was dealing with this and battling with this and I'm just like learning to navigate through this but like I would see when God when Jesus like talks about in the Bible leaving the 99 for the one and then he there was like so many people that Jesus just walked past in the Bible like he prayed for a lot of people but he also just walked past so many people and I say all to that to say there's only so much of ourselves we can give there's only so much of myself I can give and it's a daily thing to learn because I'm like, there's, I just feel like the weight of the calling that God has on my life. And I'm like,
God, what do I do? I just want to be a great leader. I just want to, you know, walk before you like humbly and love mercy and do justly and, and just like be. But, you know, it's like there's that weight and there's no way I can be everyone's God. And so the best thing to do is just point them back to God, point them back to the one who changed my life and will change theirs. Um, but yeah, I guess I say all that to say if there's like people out there struggling with like, how can I help everyone? How can I help all these people? Sometimes God is, God is just calling you to focus on one person at that time. And that means so much more to him than trying to focus on a million different people or focus on a hundred different people at one time, which, you know, it can be a crazy thing because in the Christian culture, we have this thing with there's numbers and like, oh yeah, how many people are at your church? How many people did you get saved? But like I said, Jesus leaves the 99 for the one. And like the Bible says, Jesus leaves the 99 for the one. And I think God is so much more concerned just about his will and if he wants in his will to just go after one person rather than a bunch of people at some time, then that's the way we should go. So that means a lot to me, that just like clarity that God um, has just been revealing as I've been talking to different people and different people that have felt this way and just looking back to the scriptures on what Jesus says about it, it's just helped me out a lot in not feeling like I'm a failure. Um, yeah, guys, I've definitely been dealing with a lot of attacks, so definitely keep me in prayer because, yeah, just going and walking in the calling that God has for me and, and learning just to walk in this ministry, um, it's been a challenge, you know, like just mentally, and definitely keep me in prayer and definitely lift up the prayer of, I believe, Jared Wilson. Um, he's a pastor that legit just committed suicide and he had a family, so lift up them and just pray for peace over them. But it's so sad to hear about these things. And I think it just comes from, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know everything that he's facing, but I know that leaders can be in a very dark place, especially if people aren't lifting them up continually. Like we truly all need each other. Like we truly all need community and we need to be around people and we need to be uh, loving with people and just everything like that. So. I just wanted to share that. I wanted to share my heart with you guys. I wanted to share with you guys where I'm at. Um, so God bless you guys. May you guys have a great rest of the day. Stay in God. And uh, yeah, Jesus loves you. I'll see you on the next vlog.